Well, the South Columbia Creative District, known as SoCo, is gearing up to host its annual Creative Art Festival. Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma reports how this event helps connect local artists with the community. The SoCo Creative Arts Festival is a once-a-year celebration of artists and crafters in Tri-Cities. I spoke with Warren Hughes, who is a local artist and a member of SoCo, and he says this festival is a representation of what SoCo is. The goal of SoCo is to create a centralized organization where artists can come and get connected with local businesses, with opportunities to pursue public art, and just meet up with each other. There's a large community in Tri-Cities and it's kind of spread out, and SoCo as a creative district, our goal is to help educate and connect artists with real economic work to make art a viable career in Tri-Cities. Hughes says this festival also serves as a way to make connections between local artists and the community. It is an awesome opportunity to connect with the community. You will meet people that you never, never expected to meet. You will get to talk about your work. Um, it is really a fulfilling time to and you know the money it's selling stuff's kind of cool but being able to talk to the community and engage them on art on a really like personal level is just unbelievable. Kennewick Avenue to Dayton Street and Washington Street will be closed to cars the whole duration of the festival. Hughes says this is what people can expect to see at this year's festival. So I believe the roster we have 20 woodworkers we have nearly 20 artists that'll be vending I'm going to have some of my stuff out there. Um, there's going to be a big quilt show in the Key Bank parking lot, and I think there's six bands, six musical acts that'll be playing throughout the, the day. Hughes also tells me that coming to this event is more than just a festival. It's about supporting local artists. If you have something better to do on your Saturday, then that's great. But in Tri-Cities, supporting your local artists and supporting your downtowns and the historic districts is a pretty important thing to do. And if you want there to be these events going forward, then it's time to come out and support them. Hughes has been involved with the festival for the past two years to make it easier for the next generation of artists to get engaged in the community and start pursuing a career in art. Reporting in Kennewick, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. All right, Monique, thank you for that story. By the way, the event is this Saturday. It's from 10 a.m. until 4 in the afternoon.